Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anuj. I'm finally an MBA student at GNC Nagpur. In this video, I'll be telling you about a week in my life where I enjoy every single day of Ganesh Festival celebration in our college, as well as study a bit of medicine. If you aren't subscribed already, what are you doing? So press that red subscribe button and become the part of the 10 AM club. So the first and the last day of studying started in the morning at 6:30 where I woke up to complete the part of renal medicine from the clinical book Algappan. The reason is I am posted in medicine this month and the last case that I saw was of anasarca which is edema all over the body. After reading the main book of Balur as well as brushing up on my marrow videos, I feel like the part of practical medicine is a bit more understandable to me than it was before. Really really like nephrology and it is a unit which requires a lot of understanding between what is actually happening inside. I'm very excited for medicine posting because this is the first time that we've been posted in medicine in final year and it is literally one of the best subjects of MBBS it's so clinical and so interesting all at the same yeah. time i don't want to slow down i don't want to slow down i don't want to slow down till i burn out i just want to live fast i don't want to look back and say i could have done more than i did now sometimes it can be hard yeah it can be hard yeah it can be hard when you grow up people feel you with doubt just are thinking about what you're gonna do now but we It's been one hour. I've been studying renal medicine. So yes, I completed the entirety of renal from Algappan from the first page to the last page, that is acid-base correction, in just under an hour. So the best thing that I've ever taught myself in med school is probably speed reading, and it really helps out a lot. Now let's get ready for the case. Today at nine, it was my posting. So I got ready quickly and made my way to GMC Nagpur and went to the ward number twenty-six in medicine. The case that we saw today was alcoholic liver disease. The patient had hepatic encephalopathy, for which he was admitted in the ward. After we took the case and examined him, we discussed amongst ourselves the people who are posted in the unit, asked ourselves the potential questions which our teacher is going to ask us in about a minute. Soon after our discussion was done, I went inside the ward to look at some other patients who were admitted there. I usually look at the radiological investigations of whichever patient I can find that that really helps me understand X-rays and different reports better. Correlating that clinically to the patient really helps out a lot. The ward is one such place which is just full of knowledge. We learn from patients over here more than we learn from doctors. The way a person walks is called as a gait. In this video you can see this person is having hemiplegic gait because one half of his body does not have adequate amount of power. You read about all of this in textbooks but when you actually see it in real life it does make a lot of sense. And soon after that discussion was over I went back home. Today is going pretty good so far. Today we saw a case of alcoholic liver cirrhosis, and that person had hepatic encephalopathy. I'll just quickly explain what happens to your body when you drink alcohol for long periods of time. So let's say 10, 20, 30 years. Liver cells they undergo first fatty accumulation, then they undergo fibrosis. So basically, all your liver cells are dead. And then they can't metabolize the ammonia, which is constantly being produced by every single cell of your body. So the urea cycle isn't happening. Nothing is happening. so that ammonia accumulates and it is very very toxic to your brain that causes something called as hepatic encephalopathy condition is extremely worse and i feel really bad for him that's what alcohol does to you so all the young viewers watching this channel please don't do it it's not worth it not once never with that let's get on to some work some scripting and some editing While I work on the scripts, I think it's a good time to tell you around half the people watching this video aren't even subscribed, and that might be you. It's a 50% chance, you know. You might watch my videos all the time, but never even realize that you aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button right now because making all of these videos takes up a ton of time, effort, and energy, and you can make it all worth it in just two seconds. After that was when I decided to watch some sketchy medical videos of internal medicine discussing rheumatic diseases. If you didn't know anything, Sketchy Medical is a research-proven visual learning platform for medical students. Everything that you learn about diseases, drugs, pathophysiology. biology mechanisms from textbooks is converted into cartoons and these cartoons together come up to build a meaningful story from that particular topic so by just remembering that story you are able to remember everything connected to that lesson because our brain really likes stories much more than complex flow charts and diagrams given in textbooks a simple way to remember what kind of joints are involved in different rheumatological diseases you can just look at these sketches by their appearance itself you can tell what joints are involved that kind of visual memory does not really happen that much by reading textbooks each lecture is connected to each other through recurring symbols which signifies a common link between them these 
little things make the sketchy experience really really fascinating and really really fresh you can watch sketchy videos even on your mobile and ipad by just going to sketchy.com just a single sketchy subscription will give you all the first year second year and final year subjects of mbbs i attribute my second year university success a lot to sketchy medical their way of making you learn things visually i think every medical student should utilize this amazing resource that is sketchy so stop forgetting whatever you've read and sign up to sketchy medical right now using the link in the description they also made a really cute sketch of me so please check that out using the same link you can conveniently pay for sketchy medical using your credit or debit card and integrating it with paypal don't miss this opportunity and try out sketchy medical today with that being said it's kind of 11:30 and i probably should sleep because tomorrow gfc starts good night I went to sleep being very excited for the next day because Ganesh festival celebrations was about to start. First day of Ganesh festival celebration in our college and the first day is music society. All the people who are singers in our college, instrumentalists, all of them are going to come and play for us. So, I'm going to make my way over there, enjoy the first day of GFC. This is actually our third GFC that I'm attending. I reached the college approximately at 2 and quickly met all of my friends over there who were already sitting in the audience. The orchestra had started and there were so many events which were yet to come. <laughs> It's really nice to see all my seniors and juniors up on the stage performing so well. This person over here, Anuj One Man Band has been my constant supporter since the last 3 years. So go on his Instagram page and show some love. Huge shout out to my senior Dr. Anuj Brahmankar. Yes. Ha, ah. performance ka pe the na. So every year the batch who is in second year has to decide a theme for the Ganesh festival celebration and this year it was 2020 batch who did it they did it extremely well and this was the ganpati which was placed in our college I remember being the part of the decoration team back in 2020 when I myself was in second year MBBS it was very very fun Evening has set in and we took a short break to go out and wander because orchestra is noisy at one point so going back in and enjoying the performance of the band in which yash uk is playing <sighs> also some of our seniors who had actually passed out of the college also came to attend the gfc because it is one of the very core events that our college conducts and this is abhiram bhave sir that you have seen in an interview which i conducted and very soon after that yash uk was on stage <laughs> I know this video has a lot of back stories but Yash has been the guy that supplied me the music for almost one and a half year before I bought the Epidemic Sound subscription and if you go and watch the earlier videos you will definitely find music by Yash UK at the end of every single video and seeing him follow his passion on the stage really put a smile in all of our faces Humne <laughs> college looked amazing in the evening superb today is day 2 of ganesh festival celebration today is the day that the dance competition is going to be happening in our college i've also been invited as a chief guest in one of the functions going on today at the tamega medical college nagpur So I've got to go attend that function as well as after that go to attend the GFC part two. All of that coming up after I edit the video for Sunday. This is getting totally you know anti-study vibes. The reason is my exams just got over. I just came back from a trip. So yeah. मैं seventy five उससे सस्ते में तो स्विगी आ जाएगा साल भर. We have just arrived at Datta Mege Medical College and I think let's roll. I arrived at DMMC where I was greeted by all the juniors which were present and they were really really excited to see me as I was excited to see them. They toured me around the college, showed me a lot of different stuff and the college is absolutely splendid. It did not feel like a medical college because it was so advanced and so high tech. Yeah, this is next level.
So they had called me to be the chief guest of this quiz called as Lights Camera Action. Hello. So the quiz just got over and all the committees were great especially the people behind me <laughs> And before you know it, the second day was over too. The next day our family was invited for a lunch in Mahalakshmi Puja and it's one of the festivals that we do here in Maharashtra. I really don't know whether it's prevalent outside or not. It's a once in a year event and the food is absolutely delicious. In the evening we had a batch aarti. Today we've got the batch aarti for Ganesh festival celebration and 2018 batch is going to do the aarti for the Ganpati. So everybody usually wears something traditional so that's why I'm in this outfit. Let's go. Okay. Let's just the end of the world. Or maybe we just hit the end of the world. It's too late not to let it go. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. Start to get dressed and let me cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. Hi guys! In the batch aarti, everyone was dressed pretty fine, especially the girls who were all looking really beautiful, and my boys who were all looking sharp. Really can't believe that it is one of the last batch aartis I will ever attend in this college because next year I'm going to be an intern. Really overwhelming stuff, but at that moment it really felt good. Since everybody is posted in different departments and different units, the batch aarti sort of served as a get together for all of us, and the area was well decorated by the junior batch. Some experiences are really hard to define by words. Today was one of them. So just like that, the fourth day came to an end. I know I couldn't show you the entire week, but I really hope the four days which I actually showed in this video were something which you actually enjoyed. As always, thank you so very much for being a member of the 10 a.m. club and showing up every Sunday at 10 a.m. whenever I upload a video. Chalo, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. It's your boy Anuj. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.